Second day of mid autumn, 7:44 in the morning. We have been getting early start here on the Holy Buckets Farm. I got a phone call this morning from the gentleman that owns this field, 52, right below the farm here. The one that I sprayed the other day. Yeah, he's getting closer and closer, getting get down there in Scooterville, and he really wants to part with this. He has soybeans in here at the moment, and they are fully growing, so they are ready to be harvested. Man, I tell you what. Uh, 66% fertilized on here. He didn't get the last stage on here. I thought I did the last stage, but only did the second stage. But they're, you know, they're not bad beans. They're not bad beans. Hey, Bird, how you doing? So there's a possibility that I could just uh, purchase this field, but it's a lot of money. And I talked to Sophie this morning, and she said, well, you know, it makes sense, I guess, because right down by the farm. So I called Zeke down the dealer, and he told me that he got, I got, you got to come down here and look at this. I got two new bisons. Bisons. Yeah, it's not bison. It's bisons. I got two new buy zones in the farm, so, or the shop. So I'm gonna go down and take a look at those cow mines and see what I think about that. Eighty-eight thousand bucks for a cow mine and a header, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. But in the meantime, because it's the second day of autumn, I have old crazy granny up by the uh, sawmill, and she is getting some poplars planted. Holy bucket! She was up at five o'clock this morning planting poplars. Now the sawmill, they're driving me a little nuts. They're a little wackadoodles over there. They uh, had me plant two rows of saplings back as a windbreak sort of thing. So I had to do that. And then we got Granny planting the poplars, and they wanted it planted diagonally for some reason. I have no idea. I'm down here. There's a bunch of wackadoodles down in that sawmill. But we got to keep to our we got to keep our word. We promised that we would get it done. I just kind of drove around in a whole square, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I just turned around and just drove around in a whole square. Anyway, our sunflowers are growing here. They're not quite ready to be harvested. We don't have anything ready to be harvested. Oh, crap, what happened? My truck stuck. Holy buck, did you see that? That was a weird moment there. Uh, sunflowers over there are not ready. We don't have anything ready to be harvested. I did, if you saw, I did get the grass mowed up on the two grass fields. So we'll just see if it turns to hay or not. But we'll check on Granny. Now, the other interesting thing is, I'm telling you, I got a note on my door this morning. I got a note on my door. It said... Sarge is in a hole and refusing to put the lotion in the bucket. I have no idea what that means. And he's gone. We can't find him. Granny thinks that he's just, you know, he just had a little bit too much lager last night. But I said, I don't know. Why would he make his own? Why would he make that excuse up? Sophie is convinced the chicken mafia. But I have no idea. Yeah, he's in a hole. Granny, uh, you're doing a fantastic job, old crazy granny. Look at that. Poplar. We had to rent this tractor. So I'm, I'm down a bunch of money. So I had to call Zeke and get a big horsepower tractor. So I had to rent that tractor and getting the uh, poplars in the ground here along the sawmill. Now, this is a crazy thing they want me to do. They want me to plant two rows of saplings. Apparently, it's going to be a windbreak. I don't know. But I had to do that. And then uh, Granny is doing the... So you see the money go down as our seed cost for having to uh, plant these poplars. I mean, money is just dropping down. I'll tell you what. We're going to be broke by the time this thing is over with. But we gave him our word. We gave him our word. We told him that we would do it. So we're doing it. Good job, Granny. I tell you what, Granny's an awesome, 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 awesome driver. Even, even, she, I, she drove semi the other day for an local, another local farmer. I'm telling you what, what is going on here, birds? I think the birds are causing me to have all kinds of problems. So, let's go down to the dealership. The animals are not too bad. I went up to the pig farm this morning, and I took care of them. And everything else is just okay. They, they could be topped off with some stuff, but nothing in the yellow or red, so we're okay there. But down to the store, we're taking a look at this bison. And we're going to see what we think. But that would be an investment on the farm. Have to borrow some more money. I do. Oh, crap. You know what I'm thinking about it. Do I do have some contracts, don't I? 
Um, one. I only have one. I thought I had two to collect. Well, I got one to collect. Right now, there is there's this one fertilizing job that I can do, so I better accept that. Field 29. We will accept that. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see. Down to the dealership we go. Down to see Zeke at the Massey Ferguson dealership, and it's my own. I don't know, buy zone, not a bad combine. I mean, not a bad combine, and for the price with the header, I have to buy a corn header eventually, but it's got a straight header. Oh, crap, on the wrong side of the road. Sorry about that, buddy. Probably He probably just crapped his pants. Anyways, so we'll pull into here, and we'll take a look at it and see what we think. I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. We'll just take a look at it. We got two of them in there. Ooh, a red one and a blue one. Fancy, fancy. I tell you what, he's getting more and more stuff in here. Crazy how much stuff he's getting. We'll just turn the truck off. All right, so this one is a Bajon Z110, hydrostatic. Oh, that would be a nice machine. Nice machine, B, I don't know what BS, well, I know what BS stands for, but I don't know what it means when it's, <laughs> when it's put in front of hydrostatic. And then we got an older one here, which is a little bit cheaper, but um, not as much horsepower on that puppy. So 88,000 bucks would um, get us this Bajon harvester and the header there for it i could get a corn header down the road too because i'm gonna have i'm gonna have harvesting hopefully to do tomorrow i think well the game day tomorrow but i don't know you know like i said hey rebecca oh i gotta go see rebecca uh 52 this is that field 52 right below the farm Two hundred and ninety-seven thousand dollars. so about three hundred eighty eight thousand dollars i'd have to borrow and I already have a loan of two. That'd be five hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars. You know, yesterday I said I didn't want to go into debt because it wouldn't make any sense. But I, I got to buy a combine, so I really can't put that cost in there. I could sell the soybeans. How much are soybeans going for now these days? Let's just take a quick gander. Um, Forty-one dollars and sixty-eight cents a bushel. That's not bad. Hey, Sophie, this and that. Her not even opened yet store. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Ah, she's paying big bucks over there. Okie dokie. Um, Sophie's doing some things behind my back, apparently. So, I don't know. That's, that's something to ponder. I wanted that field because it's right next to the farm. Um, God, 588. Here I go again. Welcome back to the Decisive Series. Indecisive Series. Oh, 588. How could, could I ever make that money back is the problem. Um, I'll be right back. You know what they say? They say, go big, go home. What the hell, huh? Let's just go for it. Let's just do it. It's holy crap. What the heck was that? Anyways, well, I did it. I took the plunge, called down to the bank, got everything organized. Holy crap, that fit. there's a uh, hole there. The ground is caving in there next to the animal dealership. What do they know about that? So I got the bison, and I'm going to try the bison because I think I like the bison. And it would be a good. Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, my bad. Oh, come on, coming through. Holy buckets. Whoa, oh, man. I gotta, I gotta get the hang of this combine here. It's been a long time since I've driven a combine. I got a monitor and everything. I, I think this is gonna work out pretty slick. Anyways, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. I wanted that field very. Oh, my flashers are on. Look at this thing just go down the highway. I mean, isn't that isn't that pretty? The big bison. I just love it. I absolutely love it. Oh crap! I jumped. I love it so much. I jumped out to look at it. Anyways, so we get across the bridge here. I hope I get this header across the bridge. I didn't buy a header trailer. It's not that big of a header for crying out loud. 41 bucks a bushel. So hope. Oh boy, look at that. Is it gonna fit? Oh, come on. I didn't think about that. Oh, yeah, plenty of room for crying out loud. Plenty of room to get across the bridge. Perfect size header for the old Kiwi farm. Yep. So I'll get up to the farm. We're gonna start combining this right away. I'll have to start this and then get up to the uh, farm. This is 52 right here. I can just start right here in this end. And then uh, get the truck. I'll have to get the truck. And we'll have to get going. 41 bucks a bushel. I'm not going to make it. You know, the soybeans are going to be sold right away. Let's see. Let's get that uh, hopper open. Hydraulic hopper. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And then, um, oh, look at it rev up and go. Oh, heck yeah. Come on, Cowboy. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now we're combining some beans on the Holy Buckets farm. 79.2 bushels an acre. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Now yeah, we're cooking with sauce. So we'll get this. Oh, I. No, you can't put any, you can't put any straw swap down no, there. What am I thinking? This is soybeans for crying out loud. Has a hard time going right away, but we'll get her going here. Come on, combine. There we go. 
I jammed the header in the ground with what I did. So now, here's the question. What we're, here's the question. This is the question to be answered here now. The only thing that I can plant, you know, this this could be an odd field out of our, um, we could put some wheat in here because we can plant wheat today or we could put canola in here. You know, this is, maybe this field just kind of stays out of our rotation. I don't know, what do you think about that? Or do we put this back in one of the rotations? I don't know. Um, I don't know, we can put some canola in here. Is canola worth any money? Yeah, canola's worth some money, isn't it? Because canola, we can also feed our um, chickens too. So we could have some uh, chicken feed. I don't know, how's it look on the outside? Oh man, that thing sounds good, doesn't it? I like it. I'm not so thrilled about how much uh, my yield out of here so far, but uh, you, know, you can't really complain about that, can you? I mean, I know that I can do about it. We bought a field. I mean, I'm happy about that. Still got $39,000 in the bank, which is dropping because of the uh, the uh, poplar things that we have to buy, the poplar pallets. So that's going to drop down. I had that one more contract to do. Other than that, there is um, no making money until we start our harvest. Our harvest, our crops look great. Everything is fully fertilized. I got all that done by the airplane. So everything is fully fertilized. Everything is weed, plowed, lime. We should have exceptional yield out of all of our fields. Now, the only thing I got to think about, I got to talk to Jacinta B about this, is because we have certain crops that we're going to need for feed. You know, we got to have some corn. We got to save some corn, but the rest of the stuff can be sold. And all our barley is going to go down to the. We have to save some barley for the chickens, but the rest of our barley is going to go down to the brewery, and we're going to make that uh, good old-fashioned New Zealand lager that uh, Sarge likes so much. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's true. I. I don't know if he's making this story up, but you know, I. I, I don't know. I, I think he just had a late night with all the lager that he was drinking, playing video games having a semi and they just couldn't come to work today so we made up this fake kidnapping excuse i don't know i don't know granny doesn't seem to be worried about it she said ah i don't care so i don't know it's something they're thinking about but we'll have to keep our eye out you know just in case just in case i'm packing today i'm carrying today just in case but i don't know maybe, maybe i'll hear something later maybe i won't I, I don't know i don't know it is what it is you know what i'm right next to the farm here i'm just gonna stop here on the end i'm gonna walk up and get the truck and i'll bring the truck down here and we'll see, uh, this is all I am down here and I can empty it. Sophie is busy. Sophie is all kinds of busy today, so she's not much, she's not around. Just lift the header up there. Um, turn it off. Well, not shot, just turn off the separator. Okay, I'm going to walk up and get the, uh, oh, the New Zealand flag. How beautiful, Holy Buckets Farm. Now, where is my truck? Did I put the, oh, I put the truck in the shed, didn't I? I put the truck in the shed. We'll get out of the shed there. I think it's empty. I hope. I think it's empty. We'll just jump over the barbed wire fence here. Jump. Oh, I'm not get over there. Oh, man. I'm getting old. Okie dokie. Now, we do have a bunch of manure that have been produced, but no milk yet and no fancy sheet milk. No fancy sheet milk either. How you doing, cows? Good to see you. Oh, yeah, big old truck. I love this truck. Open the door. Come on, baby, start. There you go. I'm telling you, this is this is the best farming ever. If I can get out of the door here. This is, this is a tight fit. You, you really got to be careful getting out of there. Jump for my little manure trailer. I have to back up a little bit. Yep, yeah, oven in here. So, we'll hold the cow by when it gets full, and then we will uh, take this down to the future Sophie this and that. Maybe she has it up and running away and hasn't told me. Maybe that's where she is, down there at Sophie's this and that. Maybe she's trying to pull a little fast one on me. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. Let's see. I'll just park this puppy. I wonder if I can make... Um, you know, I should be going the other way. I should be going the other way, the auger on the outside. I have a tendency to do that. Yeah, we'll just park right here along the edge. So when I come back next time, I can empty on here. Put that park. Turn that off. Shut the door. Perfect. Jump back into the by zone. I'm going to go around the other way. Have the auger on the outside.
Probably should have let it warm up a little bit before I just, just put the header down and then call her good, huh? Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Eight o'clock in the morning and doing some combining. I'm telling you. It don't get any better than this. It don't get any better than this. Well, I'm gonna rock and roll with this for a little bit. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll turn some tunes on and get these soybeans done and we'll see how we did on this field. And then I'm gonna turn around and, uh, let's see, what is this? I'm just gonna stop here real quick. What does this field need next then? Uh, okay, it's gonna need to be plowed and I'm assuming it's gonna need to be limed. So we'll have to get it plowed and limed and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do about planting. I'm, I'm thinking maybe there's some canola in there. I'll, what's canola worth anything? Well, that's about the same as the soybeans. Because uh, that's all that we can plant right now, according to the planting calendar here. The second day, yep, you can plant wheat. Canola. Wait, oh, no, is that... Yeah, that's canola. You plant canola twice, you can plant it in... No, wait, I'm looking at some. That's sunflowers. Yeah, canola. So you can plant canola, and then uh, everything else has to be done tomorrow. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. And... Um, Go from there, my friends. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk when I'm alright, cause I've been hanging with you. And it feels like love. Tell me if I'm wrong, cause it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. Just finishing this up. Can I get it all in this last little pass here? There we go. That is it. That is done. Soybean field is done. 83 bushels on the hopper. We'll let that straw just go through there and then uh, turn that off. There we go. Oh man. That's, this is a wild, wild combine here, I tell you. Get the pipe out. Pipe out? Pipe out. There we go. There. That's a good looking pipe. And we'll drop this off in the truck and we'll go sell this right away. And then, well, maybe I'll go put the combine up. I gotta find some place to put the combine. I don't know where we're gonna have to put the combine. We'll find a place to put the combine. There you go. Should all fit on this truck, hopefully. I don't know. It might. Yeah, I got plenty of room in the truck. 55 bushels here. Then we'll go sell this at Sophie's This and That. And then we'll get. Um, Let's see, we get the spreader out, we get some lime, and we will start liming this field, and then get the plow on it, and be ready for planting. Now, pipe back in. I don't know where the good spot to put this combine is, to be honest with you. So we'll go up to the farm, here we'll find, I, I don't know, I'm, you know, my shed space is, is kind of limited. Even though I have a lot of buildings, I don't have a lot of storage facility. I feel like I could put it in the one silo, the garage part of the silo. I don't think she'll fit. In here, I like to have it inside somewhere. Yeah, I don't think she'll fit in there. Let's go put her into the uh, silo facility. Then I'll walk back down and get the truck. We'll go sell that, see how much money we get off the soybeans. Let's just put the wheel all the way down. There we go. I got the two planters in that building. This would be that'd be a good building for the Calma. I got the planter in there. I think I should be able to fit the door here. Hopefully. I don't know. Gotta get by that trailer here. Oh, I gotta move that trailer. I'm kind of pinned in there, ain't I? Yeah, kind of pinned in there. There we go. That'll work. I'm just going to put this right here for now. This is a good spot for the combine. We can store it in here, drop down the header. 
All right, I'll walk back down to the truck and we'll take that down, we'll sell it and see what we get for that. We still have $27,000 in the bank. The poplar harvest is still continuing. My goodness, that's gonna be an ongoing process. Everything's working. Oh, tree, holy crap, there's a tree there. I almost hit a tree and dented up my nice truck. Oh, I like this truck. This is a dandy truck. Head down there, we'll sell this. We will get it sold and see what kind of money we make off it. Like I said, it's not gonna be big bucks. It's not gonna be big bucks, it'll be something. It will be something. We'll just cruise down. I call this the river road. Just cruise down the river road. And then we'll cross the bridge up here and then we'll head straight down to the sell point and we'll sell these soybeans and see what kind of money we can get. Over the river and through the woods. To Grandma's house we go. Oh, sorry about that car. My turning radius is pretty bad. Sorry about that. My bad. Beep, beep. Holy crap. I almost got a car accident there. I'm in the right gear. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Beautiful day, beautiful truck. 48 degrees is kind of cooling down a little bit. It has gotten a little cooler this uh, second day of autumn. But I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Look at the soil temperature. still 52 degrees. 931 here in the morning. That's going to be something to contemplate, you know. When we got planting to do in the fall, um, we got to make sure that the soil temperatures don't get too cold, that we can't get in there and do some work. But I think, I think we'll be all right. Let's see, Sophie's this and that is right up here next to the brewery. Let's see, nope, I'm going to pull in there. Yep, there's the brewery. We go down here. This little building. Should be around the side here. Yeah, this should be it right here. All right, we'll sell these soybeans. 426 bushels. And what was it? Forty-three dollars a bushel. That's not. That's not bad. I mean, it's it's, it's not. It's not big bucks. I mean, we're not becoming millionaires here off of this, but. It's something. 17,000, 17, okay, it's not much. <laughs> it's not much of anything. Nope, not much of anything at all. Let's see, now, uh, 45,000 in the in the bank. Ah, I'll wait till later today. We can, we'll pay out some of the debt. I have some fertilizing. Do I have a fertilizing contract to do? Yeah, so I gotta do that. And then uh, we'll be good to go to that department. But, get back to the farm. I'm gonna get the tractor hooked up to the spreader. We'll go fill it up with lime. That's, that'll be, that'll cost some more money too. And then we'll start spreading that field, and I'll start plowing it myself. Ah, I'm, I'm a one-man show today. All right, let's see. Let's jump into the uh, Massey Ferguson. I keep forgetting the number on this one. 7490, yep. And it'll go hook up to the spreader. I got to go down to the market, and I got to get lime. I don't I don't have any lime here on the farm. This should be, this should be plenty of horsepower. I was going to get it with four-wheel drive, but this one should be plenty of power to... Um, to run it. I don't have it that big of a spreader and the field's not that big anyway so let's see now the question is I wonder how much lime I need to do I need to fill it because I probably should fill it huh I'll get that hooked up to the Maximus 12 dollars I just love the name and we we'll down to the market and we'll fill this puppy up and we'll get that field spread and then Whatever Jacinta B thinks we should plant in there. Should I, should I just put some canola in there right now? I don't know. I don't know what the best choice is. I, I just don't know if I should put it in the rotation or, you know, anything that I put in there, that's kind of the thing I was just thinking. That's, that's my buyer's remorse coming out now because anything I put in there, I'm not going to make a killing, right? So how many uh, crops do I have to put in there to make my money back is a thing. Yeah, that's kind of the conundrum that I'm in right now. I should just probably put a high-producing crop in there is what I should do. Maybe like a cash crop of some sort. But, oh crap, I am on the wrong side of the road. Oh man, I, I yeah. I forget I'm back, I'm, I'm in New Zealand here. I'm not back in the good old US of A. Junk cars, I can't believe people just have junk cars laying around like that. It's just, it's terrible. I suppose I could just fill this uh, spreader 
and then uh, empty it into pallets and store it in my shop there. Come on, buddy. You don't need a turn signal on. You're going around the frickin' corner for crying out loud. What a wackadoodle. Blue Prius driving buttholes today. We'll turn in here. We'll get underneath there and we'll get this thing filled up. Here at Napier's Farmer's Market. I don't know how much I should put in there, to be honest with you. How much should I put in there? Apparently, I didn't have much of a choice. 67 bucks? Lime on sale? That can't be right. 67. Did I miss something? 67 bucks? No way. Why? 7.94 tons for that for 67 bucks something's wrong with that thing i didn't i didn't manipulate anything okay well the double job of the call napier and say i think you just got ripped off um come on come on greg 67 that doesn't seem right there's nothing wrong i'll have to look into that that doesn't seem right at all Anyways, back to the field. We'll get that spread. Then we'll probably call her good for today, and then uh, I'll, I'll get her plowed. That's not a big deal. I'll just get the big four-wheel drive and the disc out. I'll get that plowed, and then we'll get it cultivated for planting and kind of go from there. Yeah, that's a good plan. Beep, beep. Oh, car coming. Good-looking corn we got there. I'm telling you. Good-looking corn. Okay. We'll just go right over here. Let's see. I'll just go down this pass, and we'll turn the spreader on. I don't need my hazards or my strobe light on. I don't care if I remember how big of a pass swat this thing is. How's that look? Holy crap. That's a bigger that's a bigger pass than I thought it was. Are my hazard light still on? Oh. Get this spread. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna get a plowed and we'll figure out later on today what we're gonna plant in here. Because there's a few things that we can plant right off the bat canola we could plant right away but if i wanted to put it in the cash crop well you know what we get to the end here i'll turn it off and we'll take a quick look at that um there we go yeah let's just see let's just take a quick gander here i can't remember i wish i knew what the what the average yield was because canola we could put in there but that's just as kind of the same thing i don't know probably have more yield than soybeans but if we go down here you know coffee we're gonna get 56 of bushels, so that's more. But, but it all depends on what the yield is. You know, I don't know what the yield on this stuff is, but, you know, like a tomato is all by the tonnage, but it takes equipment, it takes a lot of equipment to do that. But we are, but we are, I'm a beer, that's what I want, beer. $1.45 a glass, cheap beer. Um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe tomato, because we, or carrots. We are planting carrots. Look at that, 524 a ton. Because our, our rotation, because um, we are doing some carrots. Uh, yeah, rotation B. Rotation ban plan B. So we'll have two fields of carrots already. So if I planted this field of carrot, we got to rent them. We got to get the equipment anyways. So that would work out pretty good. And according to the um, carrots, Carrots will start planting. Well, everything had to be planted tomorrow. Holy crap. Everything except the uh, old barley. Has to be. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Everything has. Everything that we're going to plant has to be planted tomorrow. Well, how in the hell am I going to be able to get everything harvested and all the fields turned around and everything planted in one day? Apparently, I'm a moron. How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? What, what if the field's not ready to be harvested yet? Oh crap! This could be a. Uh, I think. I think. I think. I just went bankrupt. I honestly. I think. I just. I think. I just. Um, I think I'm losing the farm here. How in the world am I going to get everything harvested and planted tomorrow? There is no way. It'll be one day to get things planted. One day. 365 days a year, and I get one day to get everything harvested and planted. Oh crap. Um. I'm a little sick now. Yeah, I don't feel so good about that. I really do not feel good about this at all now. I think I just kind of made a mistake. 
I think I'm gonna go bankrupt. I think I'm gonna lose the I'm gonna lose the farm. I think I'm gonna lose the farm. I don't know. Maybe it won't be so bad. Oh crap! Where's my line? That can't possibly be right. That's an offset. Well, that didn't work out real good. I made a nice AB line there, but that didn't work out. I'm way off. Or no, is that right? Oh, I am right. Well, why are you going over there? No, don't don't go over there. Don't. No, I've already done that. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I'm just spreading the line here to... Okay, enough of that. My GPS was working. I know I had it working. But it must be an offset. I must have the offset on. Oh, well. No, I changed. I, I got the offset back. Well, I'll do the old-fashioned way. Okay, I tried to be cool. I tried to be fancy. That didn't work. Well, anyways... I got a lot of things to think about and worry about now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish spreading this with lime. I'll still have plenty. Of, I think I'll still have lime left over. So, 67 bucks for all this lime. Yeah, there's got to be something wrong with that too. But, oh man, if I if my stuff is not ready to be harvested tomorrow, what in the world am I going to do? I'm going to miss a whole planting. Because think about this. I got to look at this one more time now. This this can't be this can't be right. So tomorrow, I have corn and sunflowers. It's the only two crops that I have out, right? So corn and sunflowers. Here's corn, sunflowers. So I'm in, I'm in the harvest window. So, but they have, you know, so tomorrow is the third day of autumn. So if I have to get all of them harvested, I mean, I'll, I'll just have fields of wheat and oat because I have two extra days. I mean, yeah, one day, one day. Well, if I can't get it done, I'm just going to have a bunch of wheat and oats. <laughs> what? That's all, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But anyways, thanks for stopping in today. I sincerely appreciate it, my farming friends. Uh, you have yourselves a... Um, what is today? Today is Thursday. You have yourself a great Thursday. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep them between the ditches, my friends. So long.